I, unfortunately, uh, I started my career when Bradman retired, 1948-9, and uh, that's something I've always had to live with. So I didn't actually play against him. But you would have seen but him. But yeah. I've seen him play, or I had seen him play, and um, he was, I'm assured, by everyone who played with and against him, easily the best. Mm. Uh, not, don't even put anyone up anyone in the, the there. bracket there. He was far and away the best. With that information, and when I'm looking at uh, the modern day players and players from that particular year, uh, my view is that the best player I've ever seen is Tenduka. Uh, not by much from Brian Lara, and there are plenty of others around. around uh, Greg Chappell was a great player for Australia. So there are a lot of other players just a little bit below that level. But to choose one, then it would be Tenduka, and I've said that for a number of years. Uh, when you made your double century in Sydney, yes. when Shane Warne uh, made his uh, debut, we had a, a situation where uh, you had a young bowler for Australia coming on the scene, and yet you had this youngster who I'd seen play first at Old Trafford in yes. 1989 when he made 100 and saved the game or helped save the game for India. We had this youngster make 148, and I still regard that as if I had to choose one of the best innings I've ever seen. I know he made 100 here as well 16 yeah. years ago mm. in the later test, and that was a very good 100, mm. but in an entirely different circumstance. circumstance. Under pressure. Un well, India were being beaten and they were thrashed. You thrash but in Sydney, body. it was just something else, and I've marvelled at it ever since. So uh, for me, it is Tenduka by that much, but remember there were some great other players there as well.